Hello, I'm here today to help you resolve the Oculus Quest Google Earth error. I believe it, the error occurs in the Quest 1, 2, and the Rift. And the error is called OVR, Create Texture Swap Chain Error. Error 0, error negative 3000, and also the black screen. Um, basically, this error occurs because there's two device drivers to choose from, and Windows or Oculus does not know which one to choose. Um, I reformatted my computer, so it's a fresh copy of Windows. I have an HP Omen 15, Windows 10 Home. Um, my video card is an NVIDIA 1660 Ti, which is an approved video card. I have a Ryzen 7 4800H, which far exceeds the minimum requirements. If you do not know uh, what the requirements are, I will provide a link below in the description. I have 8 gigs of RAM, which is why I think this error is occurring here. I did buy more, but I have not installed it yet. Um, I have a USB-C 3.0 cable, which you need. It comes with a 2.0 cable, which is not fast enough, but I will also provide a link to Amazon for the 3.0 cable. It was $15 and it came the next day. So if you have Amazon Prime, uh, it's not too bad. Um, so let's begin. Um, there's four steps that I took and finally the fourth fixed it. The first step was to go into device manager, which I'm not going to do because it changes my display uh, settings and it, um, so I'm just gonna show you what to do. You disable this driver, that way it only has this one to choose from after this one is, is gone, and which is your dedicated graphics card. You wanna get rid of your power savings low um, low quality graphics card, which for me is the AMD Radeon. You right click disable, then go, go back into Google Earth and try it again. If that does not work, you might want to try rebooting. And if that doesn't work, go back into the display settings or device manager settings and enable it. And that's step one. And that one did not work for me. Step through or two was to go into the NVIDIA settings, go into manage 3D settings, go into program settings, and select Google Earth VR. If it's not in this list already for you, click add. Find Google Earth VR executable, click add select program. There's three settings you want to change. Change it to use these uh, GPUs. Um, and you click your primary uh, uh, primary uh, video card. Click OK. Go into OpenGL. Find your video card. Mine's GeForce. Click OK. And go into Power Management Mode, which is preferred maximum performance, click apply. Close this. And let's try it, see if it works. For me, it does not work. For some people it did. I've spent about 30, 40, 50 hours researching, trying to figure it out, rebooting, reformatting my computer. So the next step was to download Steam Steam VR and Google Earth on Steam. Um, so if you want to try that, I'm not going to get into it, but if you want to try it, go to settings, go to general, um, and allow this to run. Click allow, allow unknown sources, and then once you have a um, Steam, Steam VR and Google Earth run um, or downloaded, uh, try and see if it works. For me, Google Earth launched in a separate window other than the Steam VR, and therefore it did not work for me. Um, so that was my third try. Um, 
I was a little disappointed, so I wasn't going to give up. Did some more research, and finally the fourth one did it for me. And hopefully, anyone having this trouble, it will do it for you too. So the fourth step is you go into your graphics display settings. So you graphics settings, you click it, and it says graphics performance preference. So you choose which video card you want the executable to run from Windows settings. So graphics settings, graphics performance, and what you do is you click browse, and you, there's six different Oculus executables you got to choose from. So go to Program Files, not 86, Program Files, go to Oculus. Okay, so I'm in Program Files, Oculus, and now I start to search for the executables I need. There are six executables in the Oculus. So the first one I need is... Oculus Server or OVR64. So OVR um, Server. And there it is, 64. So you click on it, you click Add, and you do Options. And then you got three options. Uh, one is System Default, which will be your power saving GPU. One is Power Saving, which is still your AMD or my AMD Radeon graphics card, which is the one I do not want. And then high performance, my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, which is the one I do want. So I selected it and I click save. That's one of, one of six. So now I click browse. I go back to that path. I go C, program files, Oculus, and I do a search. The next one I need is OVR Librarian. So I highlight it, I click Add, I click Options, High Performance, Save. Browse again, C, Program Files, Oculus. And then there's another OVR Librarian. And that one is a Library Service. Click, highlight it. Click Add, Options, High Performance, Save. Now we need Oculus Client. So browse. Sorry, C, Program Files, Oculus. I'm going to search for it again. So I'm going to search for Oculus Client. I'm sorry, Oculus, yes, client. Here it is. Highlight it, add it, options, high performance, save. Again, browse, see Windows, program files, Oculus, search for Oculus Dash. So I'm just going to search for Dash right now. And there it is, Oculus Dash. Click Add. Options, High Performance, Save. One more for the Oculus itself, and it's called Home 2, so Browse. See, Program Files. Oculus, it's called Home 2, Home 2. Here it is, Add. Options, high performance to save. So now we've completed the Oculus settings. But now we have to do Google Earth. So we have one more to do. So it's browse, see, program files, Oculus. But this time we go to software, software, Google Inc., Google Earth VR. I like Google Earth or Earth, add options. High performance, save. So these are the seven we have in any game or app you download for Google or 
the Oculus, you're going to want to change the settings and do the same step and add in the executable for that game or app that you just downloaded for the Oculus. I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to show you that it still will not run. We have one more step to do. And our last step is reboot. So I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to reboot and I'll see you in a second. All right, I'm back. My computer rebooted. I am going to load up Google Earth, click play or launch. And as you see, no error and it launched. So if this video was useful to you or one of these solutions worked, I appreciate if you subscribe and like the video below. If you have any additional comments, I will try to help you. Um, just comment below. And thank you for watching, and I hope this worked for you.